Lesson 3, Technology The subject of technology frequently comes up in the IELTS speaking exam. You may be asked to talk about something you own, your favorite websites, how technology has impacted on education etc. You'll need to show the examiner your ability to express yourself using as wide a range of vocabulary as possible. Read the following IELTS style questions and answers below and pay attention to the phrases in bold. Use the definitions section at the bottom of the page to check the meaning of any phrases you don't understand. Part 1 Style Questions Do you enjoy using technology? Well, I wouldn't call myself a techie or a computer buff, but I enjoy using computers. I'd like to find out more about how they work. When my computer crashes, I never know what to do. Do you use the internet for your studies? Yes, I'd be lost without it. I do lots of video conferencing to practice speaking and social media like Facebook is a good way to meet up with other students. And I download podcasts that teach English vocabulary and grammar. Do you have your own computer? Yes, I have a MacBook Pro. I use it all the time, for word processing, browsing websites and catching up with TV programs I've missed. Part 2, Style Task Describe an item of technology you have that is very important. You should say, what the technology I when you got it how often you used it and say how different your daily life would be without it I don't have many gadgets just a computer a laptop and my mobile phone but I'll talk about my computer as it's so useful it's funny really two years ago I was still learning to use computers how to use email send attachments how to access websites then I decided to do a digital editing course for video and photography, and so I bought the laptop when I started the course. My husband had a desktop PC but it was very slow so I decided to upgrade to a powerful one because we do a lot of video editing on the course, it's a high spec laptop. Very fast, the latest operating system, it boots up really quickly and it's fun to use so it makes working a pleasure. I've become a competent computer user now. If I didn't have it I dare say I'd have to spend more time at college using their computers, but on the positive side I suppose I'd read a lot more if I didn't have it. I probably waste a lot of time surfing the web, but hopefully I won't have to be without it. Part 3, Style Questions What do you think are the important things people need to learn when they start using computers? Well. There are things like how to use the internet, how to enter a web address, how to navigate websites. That kind of thing but it's also important to know how to back up iWord files in case your computer crashes, and all about internet security. What kind of technological developments have made the biggest impact on our lives? In my lifetime it has to be the internet of course but I also think Wi-Fi has made a huge difference to how we interact with the internet. Wireless networks at home and public Wi-Fi hotspots mean we can go online easily, access our mail, log into our work intranet and basically be connected wherever we are. Do computers make it much easier to study? Definitely yes researching information is much easier with the internet. You can bookmark web pages for future reference and writing essays is much easier. Being able to cut and paste sections of text means you can experiment with organization, so yes. Compared to years ago when you had a pile of books on your desk and a pen and paper, it's now much easier. All in package package holiday, a holiday where you purchase the travel and accommodation together. Breathtaking view, an extremely beautiful view. Charter flight, a cheaper form of flying than a scheduled flight. Check-in desk, the place at the airport where you register for your flight and deposit your luggage. Departure lounge, where you wait for your flight to be called. 
far off destination, somewhere a long way away. To get away from it all, to take a holiday to escape a busy or stressful lifestyle. Guided tour, an organized group shown around a place of interest by an expert. Holiday brochure, a glossy publication with details of holiday packages. Holiday destination, where you go for a holiday. Holiday of a lifetime, a special holiday that you are unlikely to repeat. Holiday resort, a place where lots of people go for a holiday. Hordes of tourists, crowds of tourists. Local crafts, objects produced locally. Long weekend, an extended weekend holiday including Friday or Monday. Out of season, outside of the main holiday period. Picturesque village, very pretty village. Passport control, the place where your passport is checked. Places of interest, sites of interest to tourists. Wildlife safari, a holiday, often in Africa, to observe wild animals. Self-catering, a holiday where you supply your own food. Short break, a short holiday. To go sightseeing, to look around the tourist sites. Stunning landscape, extremely beautiful countryside. Travel agent, a shop that specializes in booking holidays. Tourist trap, somewhere where too many tourists go youth hostel, a cheap form of accommodation.